A young woman born to poverty who came to have it all, then lost it all. But we think she's a textbook example of what you can do with determination. I spent a lot of time um, using drugs very heavily. Spent nights sleeping in the concrete area outside Newberry Street that they call the crack slab. My life totally lacked any direction and I felt very, very hopeless. In her 23 years, Kimmy Wu has hit bottom just about as hard as you can hit it. She grew up poor, but was lucky enough to get a scholarship to one of America's most prestigious boarding schools. I spent a lot of time there learning phenomenal things, while at the same time I really, really struggled with a lot of my own demons. Prep school was foreign territory for a girl who'd been abused by her father. So she dropped out junior year, got addicted to drugs, moved to Boston, took up with an abusive boyfriend, and a year later was pregnant. I am so blessed to be a mom. I would never change that for the world, but I had no idea what it would be like to truly take on the responsibility of another life. I look back on it now and I wonder how I got through it because things were absolutely wretched in our household. How are you? I so desperately wanted to go back to school as soon as I had my daughter. I knew that education was going to be my only path out of poverty and out of this life that I was living. The boyfriend wouldn't allow it. When he was sent to jail for abusing Kimmy and her daughter, they were broke on welfare, eating at soup kitchens. Kimmy called hundreds of social service agencies in Boston, and that led to a job. Three jobs, actually. But more important, a scholarship to go back to school. All of the mornings that we have when she's kicking and screaming and doesn't want to get out of bed and, and that I'm near tears because I haven't gotten a paper done, it, it makes it all worth it because she knows that mommy's going to school and that mommy's going to be somebody someday. Last month, Kimmy graduated from community college with a 4.0. She came to the graduation ceremony and she was so proud that day and kept saying, mommy's graduating, my mommy's graduating today. And that has led to another scholarship. Kimmy, who just three years ago was living off handouts, will enter Boston University this fall, unless, unless she gets into Harvard. She's on the waiting list there. I think a lot of it was this desire not to be rolled over on by this force greater than me that was pushing me down. I, I so badly didn't want to just become another, another woman who had been in a really bad situation and had given up. I wanted to be able to show people that it is feasible, it's possible, it's, it's not something that's so far out there, it's not beyond your reach. And so we choose Kimmy Wu, quite a comeback. Eventually, she plans to get a master's in public policy and a law degree so she can help the homeless and victims of domestic violence. Two worlds she knows well.